Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Gemini. How are you guys, Gemini? Hope you're all well this week. Thanks so much for dropping in. This is a general read, any aspect of your life, take it how it best resonates for you, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? There we go. And we have seven of air. Yeah, some of you may be trying to figure something out, very focused on it. You get a little far away look. You can see the geese and there's a little bird on this uh, person's lap here <laughs> looking right at her and uh, she's not seeing it, okay? So it's an energy of someone who's up in their head. Everything's kind of up in the air trying to make a decision. So it's trying to figure something out. Uh, it's about looking at the facts. Very focused, yeah. Three of Wands. And we have Ten of Fire and Six of Earth. Lovely. So it has to do with reciprocity, equal give and take. So it's definitely an energy of... Uh, somebody may have just made their last payment. Like I say, sometimes I see this as burdens being released, looking out there for something. You're looking for something, or there's someone here who's trying to figure something out here. Uh, if the ship has sailed, if something's too late, uh, it has to do with reciprocity. Someone may be burdened by something too, you know? There's an energy where there's someone's not reciprocating, they're not reaching out, they're not talking or communicating. Uh, it could be that energy, but it actually feels like uh, someone's just in their head and things are up in the air. It has to do with burdens, responsibilities. Something is end. Burdens, responsibilities. Something is over. It's an energy of the six of earth. Hmm. Waiting for something. Waiting for someone to reciprocate here. Maybe getting tired of waiting. Feeling like someone's being a little bit of a player. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Gemini. Does Gemini need to know this overall energy surrounding them? So it wants to come out. Yeah. So it has to do with work. Very focused on work. It's about building something. Someone perfecting their craft. Some of you may be trying to figure out the uh, how to make something work. You're looking at the facts. It could be an energy of how to fix something. Perfecting the craft. Looking for something perfect. <laughs> uh huh. Gemini. Yeah, so a very busy time, things speeding up, possible communication. So a lot of things happening at once to do with work, to do with uh, building. So there's a lot of facts, a lot of figures. Yeah, it's about manifesting. So there you are, you're manifesting something. And it could be to do with work or whether you want to build something with someone, if they're right for you. Because uh, it is a little energy of perfectionism, okay? When you see someone having all the tools they need to manifest what they want. Uh, I see a busy time, some things speeding up. So you're manifesting. You're looking at the facts here. Be a little careful if you have someone who's not putting in a lot of effort, okay? They don't put a lot of effort into their communication. Um, they may feel like someone's manipulating you, okay? So there's an energy of figuring it out here. Someone might be a little bit of a player, a little bit sneaky. Looking at things from a different perspective, a different angle. Yeah, someone's doing a little introspection here, a little Pisces energy. This is someone looking at things from a different perspective. Seeing things different. Oh yeah, we have a single. Someone's checking you out, looking to see if you're single. No, oh, yeah, you got someone trying to figure something out. They're looking at the facts, the things that they know. This is someone who wants to win, okay? They're manifesting. I feel like it could be you, uh, but it could be another person. It could be a Virgo energy here. It doesn't have to be. Uh, I see Pisces as well, a little earth energy. So I feel like we've got someone checking you out. They like the way you dress, the way you conduct yourself. You're enjoying the fruits of your labors. You look successful. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have somebody who's keeping you waiting, you may be seeing things from a different perspective. Now, it has to do with being single or not single. Yeah, I see competition, conflict, challenges, obstacles. This could be someone, if you go to a sporting event or some kind of competition, okay, uh, it could be a party, even a celebration, people competing, having a good time. It's not always negative. Uh, there could be someone checking you out. So see this energy of success and victory. And so someone who dresses for success, you look successful. Someone is, you got somebody who wants to approach you. Oh yeah, Knight of Wands energy. 
So someone in a rush. This is a person who just goes for it. See, it's a little Sag energy. Someone's got some Sagittarius energy. This is planning for success, victory. Someone might be checking you out, looking to see if there's any competition. <laughs> it's definitely someone very charming, very enthusiastic. Oh, yeah. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we have that energy of, ooh, nice. Definitely focus on money. So this is someone coming towards you. They see you as this Queen of Pentacles, you see. Someone who takes care of themselves, focus on money. Some of you are very focused on money. You're being sensible. You want to have success. You may have had a false victory with someone or you're just kind of, you know, looking at that energy. But I do see burdens, responsibilities being lifted. There's someone going to reach out. And I do feel it's about reciprocity. I think someone's trying to figure out if there's competition before they... Uh, approach you they're looking you look single you dress good you look successful <laughs> they're very enthusiastic oh they're looking at you they see you as that queen of pentacles eight of pentacles this could be in the workplace too yeah see a lot of competition conflict challenges obstacles it's about perfecting your craft overcoming them so you're manifesting now i think you got a person at work who's looking to see if there's anyone around you anybody competing for your attention this is somebody who wants to take action this is generally a person who likes to fight for what they want <laughs> very action oriented uh there could you know you could be very competitive in the workplace right now too so interesting energy eight of wands why is this here Gemini oops there we go yeah see it's about success planning for success so this is a person here who this is someone who's manifesting the tools the information the knowledge it's about plans okay uh, it's about dressing for success I see two people in a very similar energy competition conflict overcoming obstacles challenges tell me about this magician it's about taking action, fighting for what you want, success. I, I feel like you got the tools. You've got everything you need. Yeah, see, there we go. It could be someone manifesting you as well. So I see this. This is about love and having success in love. Some of you, you may have someone who comes towards you just looking for action, okay? Um, but I do see a false victory. Too much happening at once, busy. It's going to happen at work. So there, it could, there could be something to do with that. Uh, I see you in that energy of the Queen of Cups. You know, the Queen of Cups is sometimes a person who has a tough time in love. You know, you're trying to figure something out. Be really careful about any fixer-upper energy, okay? Something you have to fix up, fix, you know? Um, sometimes the Queen of Cups is a bit of a fixer-upper. Looking at someone they can um, have success with. There may be challenges, obstacles uh, to overcome. So watch out for that fixer-upper energy, okay? <laughs> you, you, you are manifesting something. You have all the tools you need to have success. Seven of air. There we go. Yeah, see, two people. Two people trying to figure each other out whether something will be successful or not. Be a little careful of anyone who comes in just looking for attention, Okay okay just watch that <laughs> but i i feel as though you've it could be another person too that's looking to see if you're single or if there is competition this is someone who wants to have success so i do see a connection soulmate connection this could be a friend too oh yeah so this is there definitely some kind of aha moment oh my goodness there's something here look at that things are up in the air this is two people trying to figure each other out trying to figure something out here to do with um success planning future financial foundation marriage or commitment i see some kind of yes okay or some kind of aha moment could be a creative idea to do with a house a home a financial foundation there's some kind of celebration there's really positive i see yes okay i really do this is really good i'm seeing some kind of victory tell me about there may be some kind of celebration that you're having with someone you may connect and have a little celebration you may invite them to your home or vice versa Tell me about the hangman. Oh yeah, you got something new. Someone's doing that little pause, a little period of introspection about starting something new. You got someone with that little light bulb going off there. Oh yeah, someone's going to find out you're single here. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, look at that. We've got two single people. There is some chemistry here. I see action, having a good time. Uh, playful energy, successful energy, some kind of adventure. So it's busy. A lot of you might even have a couple opportunities. It's possible because there's sometimes multiple opportunities, a lot happening. There could be other com people competing for the person that you're interested in, vice versa. Uh, five of Wands could be to do with um, success, buying a home, even manifesting something you love. Um, yeah, I see new. I see the sun shining. Somebody new, and I see a bond and a connection. Two single people. Beautiful, yeah, look at that. There's that three of fire, five of wands energy, taking action. See, this is an energy where you're not competing for anyone's attention, okay? You're not going to give anyone attention. If they don't give you the attention you want, <laughs> uh -huh, I can see it. You'll free yourself and move on to someone else you can have success with. So I do see something there. And I do see the lovers, and I see the looking at this situation, looking out there waiting for some kind of abundance you're waiting for something here or someone's waiting for you oh yeah see it's an energy of patience patiently waiting now this is an energy whether someone's right for you or not some sag energy it's balancing head over heart um, there's some kind of temptation you're tempted by something or someone's tempted by you it's beautiful physical connection but it's about the ship sailing here see so freeing yourself from someone you're not competing for anyone's attention there's something to do with work, building, creative energy, perfecting your craft. Tell me about the three of fire. Yeah, see, burdens, responsibilities, reliability. So you have a choice, I feel. You got someone here has a lot of financial responsibilities, burdens. You may feel like something's off. Something may be bothering you. Okay, so you're just tempering that. You're just waiting patiently here. Just kind of looking out there, waiting patiently, kind of waiting to see what happens. But there's something bothering you, okay, a burden. And it could be because someone's not responsible, reliable. They may be giving attention to other people. So you got someone with a bit of an ego here. Watch that ego again down here. Tell me about the Six of Wands. These two hit my finger first. Yeah, so we have an energy of the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who's emotionally mature and available. So somebody here is not so sure you're going to reciprocate. They are enthusiastic. Okay, so someone who comes in very charming, very enthusiastic. But sometimes this is a person who doesn't feel like something will be successful. You won't be interested, you see. You've got, you've got a person who's tempted here, and they're looking at you. It's definitely an energy. There's an, also an energy where the chemistry off with someone and that's where I feel like you're going for new the ship has sailed you're moving towards someone better someone who's a better fit you're looking elsewhere or it's this other person yeah cancer Pisces Scorpio oh yeah you got an opportunity here yeah and I can see the energy you've got someone who has a tendency of rushing in very quickly okay so it's energy of patience somebody uh, being patient. Don't be in a rush. Ground yourself. Be sensible. Do you see yourself with this person in the future? Are they responsible and reliable? A partner. See, someone sees you as responsible, reliable, very independent, single. Two single people coming together that are just right. Someone's going to reach out to you. They're hoping it's successful. They're offering you this cup, the big cup here. Yeah, you've got someone who rushed in and out. This is an energy, someone looking for action. And that's where I feel the ship has sailed. Too little, too late. You're not interested. You got new. Very nice. And I think someone's checking you out. Someone new. Uh, looking to see kind of what's going on, who you are, how you dress. They, they think you look successful. You look single. If you want, if you... Um, because I sometimes, you know, a person can be a little unapproachable. Uh, act like they really want to be single when they don't so watch that energy okay really watch that energy yeah there you are see there's some kind of an event um, friends family some sort of event very positive news here queen of pentacles people speak highly of you so there's that's really nice energy um, yeah you've got a good temperament you're calm you're gracious you're kind 
So as people are speaking highly of you, you may somebody may introduce you to someone who they feel is right for you. So there could be a little matchmaking going on here. Some friends, family involved, something to do with community. Very gracious, very kind, Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful, Ten of Fire. Yeah, so there you are, speaking your truth. You're getting something off your chest too. You're going to be very discerning. I see you being very wise, you see. Uh, making wise choices, whether someone's right or not. You're telling your truth. This could be somebody else too, Gemini or Aquarius, because I do see a Gemini yourself. Um, Virgo, Sag, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius energy possibly here. But this is more than likely yourself, speaking your truth, getting something off your chest. It's about reliability, responsibility. <laughs> you're speaking your truth staying in your integrity uh, you, you've got people who think very highly of you in your community your friends your social circle there's someone in your social circle okay I feel like you know your inner knowing that's your inner wisdom you have all the tools because you're manifesting something and you want to have success here yeah you got someone here you're not interested in you're not interested in reciprocating and you have someone else if someone doesn't reach out they don't reciprocate you will cut them out so you are going to communicate if any someone's reaching out to other people uh, they're not invested or they're reaching out to other people you will cut them out so i do see you speaking up and being very discerning very wise okay but very gracious and very kind at the same time see you're tempering your words your passions your emotions beautiful energy yeah, so there is an event. You're probably going to meet someone at an event here. But make sure you are approachable. Watch the way you communicate. You could be a little unapproachable. And it could be because of a past energy where you haven't had a lot of success. People come towards you just looking for action and attention. So, you know, there's there's that energy. This is the tools, the knowledge, the inner wisdom. This is what you have to manifest, okay? Yeah, but I think you got someone manifesting you. I do see a Virgo energy or someone with some Virgo in their chart or they just have that energy. It's sometimes a person who's very independent, enjoying the fruits of their labors. But you see, there's definitely something there. <laughs> oh, yeah, so definitely is some chemistry, physical connection, six of Earth. There we are. Yeah, we have Empress energy. That's yourself. There you are with that Empress energy, the birth of something new. Oh, yeah. You're waiting. You're not reaching out to someone. You're not chasing anyone. See, you're not chasing. Maybe you've done that in the past and didn't have any success. So now you're staying like this. You're staying in the Empress energy. If they want you, they need to come and get you. So I do think this person, there is going to be an offer, a date, an opportunity. I think you're going to say yes. I think you're going to, you're going to go for this. And I do see this energy of burdens, responsibilities. Something is over. It's baggage. You've released all your baggage. And I also feel you don't want something with a lot of baggage either, too. And that's the energy because you want to have success. So um, I think you got a person who's going to reach out. They're hoping you're going to reciprocate. I feel like you will. But they, they have to make the offer. <laughs> they're around you. Oh, yeah. They're seeing that empress. See? Very nice. You take care of yourself. You look after yourself. Yeah, you got an opportunity. Beautiful. You could, you know, the Empress sometimes does reach out, but I, I don't really feel. I feel like maybe in the past you would, you know, chase people. Uh, and only find out there's competition, conflict, obstacles, you know, false victories, you see. Uh, so you're not chasing. And this is where I feel is that you're learning to manifest. You have all the tools you need. You're the Empress. You're the one with the power here. Okay. So you have this lovely new energy. The sun is shining. It's just gorgeous. You have an opportunity, an offer. This person reaches out to you, you are going to reciprocate. So it's a little back and forth where they'll invite you, you'll invite them. <laughs> very gracious, very kind. You're going to make someone feel comfortable too, see? You're going to make someone feel comfortable. And you're definitely not comfortable with anyone who's dating other people. Um... You know, you definitely don't see a future with someone. You know, they have to reciprocate. They they have to, there has to be reciprocity. That's what you want. So we have a king and queen of cups here. Two people kind of waiting here for the other person. <laughs> oh, it's coming, Gemini. Lovely. Tell me about this sun. So I see a moon, sun and the moon, a little contradictory. Yeah. Things that you don't know, things that are hidden, something may be off. So if you have a person here where something's off, I can see it. So you're going for the new, you see. Yeah. So 
about tempering your passions, taking the time to get to know someone. There's someone different than your usual type, or someone may see you that way. Yeah, we got the love here, and we have the fish, a little Pisces energy. Someone is a good catch. Someone sees you as a good catch. It's an energy of also just kind of going with the flow, being patient. So I feel you're tempted to reach out to someone, but I feel like you're not. See, it's baggage, burdens, responsibilities. It's about finding someone here where something's off, someone's not responsible, reliable. See, you got someone who's not reliable, and then you have someone who is. Someone who's different than your usual type. If your usual type is someone who's looking for attention or, you know, there's always competition, obstacles, chaos, things like that, I feel like you're not interested in that because I, I feel like you're like no drama. Tell me about temperance. Oops, there's that big old heart. Yeah, there's something to do with balance, head over heart. Um, it's all about love here. Tell me about this king of cups. Uh, we have the, the glasses. So that's seeing, seeing things clearly. Okay. Uh, somebody wants to see you. Someone wants to see you, they need to reach out. But this is someone seeing things clearly. Uh, it's also an energy of abundance long-term commitment to the abundance flowing so this is what you're waiting for is the communication to flow the abundance to come you're here with open arms the empress you don't shower your abundance upon someone until uh, you get the truth you're teaching someone how you want to be treated too right off the get-go okay letting someone know how you want to be treated uh, we have uh, some music here so there could be some kind of event involving music Someone who gets a lot of attention, you see, you got someone with an ego, they get a lot of attention. Um, they have a little bit of an ego. They're used to people reaching them out, coming after them, but they're going to come after you. Wow. And then we have the fish. So there's definitely some um, going with the flow, water energy. Ooh. Tell me about the three of cups. Yeah, we have love. And we have communication. So there's a lot of communication. Well, this could be at an event, a musical event. This person comes up and reaches out. This is someone who's going to approach you, a new person. See, they're seeing something clearly. This is a person who's seeing you. They see you. Okay, you're different than their usual type. There's something unique about you. You're not like their other, the other type of people, or you're seeing that that way. It's in the heart of the reading here. So, Queen of Swords. Yeah, so it's about... There's that energy of strength manifesting, having all the tools, the information, the inner wisdom long term. See straight and true. You're telling the truth. Okay, you're in your integrity. People say good things about you. There's a lot of love. You got a lot of people who love you around you. So very nice. Loving friends, family. There's some kind of an event. You're going to make someone feel comfortable. But if you do have someone who doesn't reciprocate, it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. And you're going to let someone know how you want to be treated. Queen of Pentacles. Absolutely. See this Queen of Cups. So we have beautiful. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. See, it's abundance. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. So that's that energy of the single. Okay. Uh, you want someone to see your worth and your value here. So there's that leaf, keeping things simple. Now, this could be the change of seasons. Sometimes I see this as timing. Uh, so it's about letting something go. Manifesting what you want. The fruit. You're, you're doing something financial here, too, that you're going to have success with. I see a very busy time and even multiple opportunities and invitations. I see a transformation. So there's definitely some kind of transformation. Uh, letting some, I feel like some of you are moving away from someone. You're just seeing the truth, you know. It could be someone who's better just to be friends. Uh, but I do see success to do with a financial foundation, a house, a home, commitment, a party, or a celebration where you're going to connect, a soulmate. Some of you just want to be friends with someone, you, you know. I can see that too. Be careful if you, if you have friends who are competing for the same person that you are. Okay, just watch that energy. A bit of ego me about the success yeah so it's energy of pushing through fear taking an opportunity multiple opportunities unicorn very strong that's the strength there's a lot of strength here 
uh, and I see a good omen. So you have a good omen. You have some kind of good luck here when it comes to success and financial success. But you also know when to uh, manifest or not mount, manifest somebody. Yeah, I feel like you've got this here. And I do feel like you got this lovely person. This is someone who kind of wants the same thing as you do. It's somebody new. Okay. I can see that. But I do see that moon. And that's where there's something hidden here. You see, this is where you know something is off with someone. The ship has sailed. It's like it's time to move on. You got a person around you with baggage. They're not responsible or reliable. They keep you waiting. And you're not waiting. There you go. And if it's not you, it's the other person. Tell me about this ten of wands. Yeah, see? You want someone reliable, stable, someone who pulls their weight. You want a partner, see? Someone they count on and rely on. Financial stability, a legacy. Uh, so you, this is an event or a place people where people congregate. Could be just shopping at a market. Could be anywhere, okay? It could be a competition, a social event. Uh, we've got the three of cups in here where this person reaches out. They're checking you out, okay? To see if you're with anyone, if you have a partner. So they're just kind of waiting, I feel, for the right opportunity here, tempering their emotions and passions. You're different, yeah. You're definitely different. You're different than their usual type, put it that way. Because you you know why? You're not chasing them. And if you did chase someone in the past, I don't think you're going to do that anymore because you're manifesting. You have the tools, the information. You're the Empress. The Empress has the tools, the magician energy. You've mastered all the elements. Lovely, lovely energy, Gemini. I feel like you've got this straight and true, stay in your integrity. If you need to teach someone how you want to be treated, if you feel like they're not responsible or reliable, and I feel that you are definitely uh, responsible. People say nice things about you. You are reliable. Very nice. Take care, Gemini. Wish you the best, and bye for now.